floating wind farms and hydrogen. Well, wind is a great source of renewable energy. Land wind farms are very well developed, as well as wind farms in the ocean. But wind farms in the ocean need a very shallow waters so that the foundations can be laid uh, in the ground. Now, we are depleting, basically, the, the area available uh, where ocean is relatively uh, shallow enough to create wind farms. But a new technology is coming up, which is called floating wind farms, which basically consists in having wind turbines that are floating and just attached to the ground, to the bottom of the sea of the ocean, by anchor, anchoring systems, uh, cables and things like that. This allows to deploy these wind turbines also in waters that are much deeper than the shallow waters of uh, traditional wind farms. So this opens up an entire new well, regions of, of the ocean, of the ocean surface, where uh, this can be deployed. Actually regions that are much bigger than the current and um, the regions that are that are uh, um, amenable to wind farms with the current technology. So this is all all good and it's very interesting because the amount of energy that can be harvested is much bigger. And this could be a source of energy to produce hydrogen. Now, finally, with having uh, green and abundant green energy, hydrogen could be produced at scale and actually could also be produced at scale directly where the wind farms are located, in the middle of the ocean, basically. This combination of technology is promising and actually today wind farms are being, uh, like floating wind farms, are being developed and deployed for the first time and they are not uh, competitive yet in terms of cost of energy but they are, I mean we are learning how to do it and the prices, the cost of deploying uh, wind farms will reduce further and further. At that point, yes, that will be a competitive energy source also for the produ production of, of hydrogen. So maybe this is the way that shipping will follow to produce enough hydrogen to propel the entire fleet. We'll see.